Today I will be uh, bypassing an iCloud lock on this iPhone 4 right here. Now, the tutorial I'm using is this one right here, but this one, I couldn't find this uh, file. But luckily, um, I had it previously downloaded, but I don't know where I actually uh, got it from. Maybe it was from here. Uh, well, doesn't look like it. I am unsure where I got this file from, well, this folder, but that's what I'm going to be using. All right, now, right now, I'm just restoring the uh, <clears throat> iPhone and iTunes right now. Um... Yeah, and now this is a MacBook 2009, I think. Something like that, I'm unsure of the exact model. Um, now, why am I even recording this when there's already a fine tutorial? Well, first, I couldn't find the uh, download links to these files. And, uh... It's just what I do, it's, it's how I document things, you know? Alright, so the restore is halfway completed, and I'll get back to you once it's fully completed. Alright, so it's almost done, actually not almost done, but in my experience, the only reason why I'm doing this on actual hardware instead of a virtual machine is, for whatever reason, I could not get it to work on a virtual machine, it would just error out. Um, also, you have to have iTunes 11.4 installed. And... Um... Yeah, that's about it. So you want to hear something absolutely amazing while this is still restoring? So I purchased this ring for $94 in Santa Fe... I, I might have already stated this previously, but uh, it's not focusing. So it's sterling silver ring with lapis, that's what uh, these are. As you can see, a piece fell out right there. Yeah, that was pretty great, and I didn't even have the ring for one day at that point. So, that that's a real letdown right there. Uh, let's see. Now this this phone I sold it to my friend for ten bucks because I, I couldn't even get ten bucks on it well for well for it on eBay. And still restoring, alright. And uh, he attempted to do this exact same thing, follow the same tutorial, I, and I sent him the same tutorial, uh, but he said he couldn't get it to work. Now, I've done this about six times in the past. And the first time I got it to work, I was like, wow, it actually works. That's crazy. Now, I am I really hope that something like this is released for more models of iPhone and iPad and iPod. Maybe even throw in an Apple Watch here and there. Maybe, uh other things, because then iCloud Lock would, uh, done disappear. It, it wouldn't, but the, uh, threat of it would disappear, if you know what I'm saying, which you, uh, probably don't, because I, at this moment, don't know what I'm saying. It's currently 9 o'clock p.m. Alright, now I'm just wasting your time at the moment. How do you feel about that? Oh, pretty great, that's nice. Let's see, restoring iPhone, this should not take this long. Alright. Good news. iPhone finish restoring. Well, the iPhone, is it? Mm. I'm unsure if it's the iPhone or just iPhone finish restoring. It sounds better to say the iPhone finished restoring. Anyway. 
let's get down to business. So I'm going to unplug this from there, and I'm going to plug it in right there. All right. Uh, let's see. Did that actually um, do up a thing? Oh, no. It is still restoring. I forgot there was two phases. Welp. I should have kept the phone connected to my main computer. I, I don't think it will actually make any difference. Alright. Now if you're wondering, how do I install iTunes 11.4? Let me tell you. Alright, so I downloaded this installer, well this version of iTunes, the installer for it, from a website called ipsw.me. Alright, this phone seems to be up and running now. It seems to be recognized in iTunes. Alright, let's X off of that. And then, let's put it into DFU mode. Alright, now to put this device into DFU mode, I'm going to need a tripod. Alright. So to put the device in DFU mode, well, let's, let's show that it's actually iCloud locked first. It's going to make me do this. Alright, activation lock. As you can see, I don't know what it is. Now, so let's see if I remember how to do this. So, it's 8 seconds, right? Then you release the uh, lock button, the power button. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I am currently holding down the home button. Alright, let's see. Oh, hey, installing device drivers. Hey, that's not half bad. Alright, uh, after it installs the drivers, I'll get back to you. While this is installing the drivers, let's get it. I accidentally hit the volume button, which stopped the recording. Alright, as I was saying, let's get it out of the tripod. And this song, White Room by Cream, or maybe it's Cream by White Room. I'm unsure. But that's a damn fine song right there. It's still installing the drivers. This is the absolute longest I believe I've ever had to sit and wait for drivers to install. Now, any second now, this should resolve itself, and... What, what does resolve itself mean? What did I mean by that? Hmm. Find out on the next episode of... Insert generic TV show name here. Alright, that's just great. Searching Windows Update. There we go. Let's close that. Let it load for a second. Alright. Open that. Let it load for a second. We have encountered an error. Let's close iTunes and try opening it again. Yep. Bye bye. Alright. And won't pause. Oh. Well, I didn't even need to pause the video. Would you look at that? Is it doing a thing? I'll get back to you when it does a thing. So today is April's Fool's Day. And in Mexico, they call it I don't think it's April Fool's Day. I think it has something to do with a fish. Or maybe that's Italy. Like, fish day or something? Oh, hey, it's... It's doing a thing. Wow, RAM disk is doing a thing. RAM disk load started. All right. 
you know what? I don't listen to the neighborhood anymore. We can uh, get that out of here. Thank you very much. All right. Do I have Led Zeppelin up there? Yes, I, I have it up there. All right. Um, what's another great um, band? Jack White? Do I have Jack White up there? No. But I have Jack White over there. Right, right in the middle, right there, with the guitars. Yep. All right, is it? It made a noise. Um, success. Great. Next step. Open WinSAP, or SCP. Let's SSH into the device. Username, or host name. Um, does it say that in here? Local host. All right. Let me get a tripod. All right. Let's see here. All right. Oh, this is awkward to type on because this is on the keyboard, so you can get a good angle. Local host. Username root. Alpine. Connection refused. Did I type something wrong? Oh, yes, the port. I messed up the port. All right, port zero. All right, there you go. Username root Alpine. Return. Connecting. All right. That's mighty fine, if you, I do say so myself. I wonder why it's that specific port and not... Oh. Um. Yes, yeah, so let's wait. Host is not communicating. Is it plugged in? Sure is. Um, well, I will see what I can do about this. So it appears that this is having difficulty connecting to the device. So let's use the other version that I have installed, the new version. All right. Local host port number two two well two zero two two root alpine return searching for host connecting to host connecting to host connecting to host yeah. Yeah, try turning off optimized connection buffer size. How do I do that? Um, can I go into settings? Preferences. What was it? It was something about buffer size. Let's see if I can find that. Um... Let's see. Is it in here? No. Actually, no. No, no, no. 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 And I'm out of luck. I'll look again. So the thing that I need to turn off is optimize connection buffer size. All right, optimize connection buffer size. Where would that be? That would probably be in here. Optimize connection buffer size. Optimize connection 
buffer size. Optimize connection buffer size. Optimize connection buffer size. It's probably right in front of me. You know, I'll look harder. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to SSH into one of my other phones and see if the preferences up here are different. No, they're the same. Right here it says, oh, hold on, this is preferences, not advanced settings, advanced site settings. How do I get to advanced site settings? Um, gonna have to research on how to do that. So what I had to do is I had to click on advanced, obviously, and click on advanced. All right, connection, optimize connection buffer size. All right, local host. Um, which one? That is no good. All right, let's just. Oh, I fucking hate this Mac. Okay, there you go. Root Alpine. Who thinks this is going to fix the issue? I don't. Alright. Exactly. Abort. Terminated by the user. Hold on. Does this have anything to do with it? You know, let, let me think about it. Alright. Let me try a different SSH client. Like, um, let me get one. All right, I'm installing Putty. And let's see how that goes. If this doesn't work, I'm going to attempt to do this exact same thing, but not on this computer, on that computer. So that right there is the computer that I originally did it on in the first place, and it seemed to work just fine on that computer. However, I have installed a different version of Windows, that being Windows 10, since last time. So, where is... Putty... Putty. Nope, that's not. Hello. See a local host port 2022 SSH. Maybe. I don't think I uh, actually did that correctly. Right now it's just on a blank terminal. Let's see. All right. Can I input a username or password? Basic options. Well, I'm unsure about how to continue. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to use Putty. So, what could be the issue? If I cannot SSH into the device, um, I could try doing this again, which I will. Alright, let's...
let's open up this, this, this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release the power button. Keep holding the home button. All right. And it's doing a thing. It's doing something it didn't do before. Installing device driver software. All right. There you go. It's the same drivers as last time, but it felt like installing them again. Installing device driver. Of course. All right. It has been on this ever since uh, 930 and it is 933. Previously, it did not take this long. The computer went to sleep because it was taking so long. There you go, finally, finally. Okay, that took a considerable amount of time. Now, I would like to just go to sleep at this moment. However, I did promise the person, and they keep texting me nonstop. Is the phone done? Is the phone ready? Did you fix the phone yet? And I promise them I will give them a fully functional iPhone 4 tomorrow. Now, why not just do it in the morning? Because I don't want to wake up that early. Installing. Oh, there you go. Ready to use. Laggy as all hell. But let's see if this... Why is this computer la- okay, there you go. Let's see if this wants to start doing a thing again. This system only has two gigabytes of RAM. Why? That- that's no good. Alright. Nope. Hasn't moved an inch. I can't, I can't, there you go. But now it has moved an inch. How do you feel about that? Because I feel great. All right. This doesn't go in the next 10 seconds. I'm going to try again. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Come on, I clicked the X. And there you go, finally. Let's. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release the power button. Keep holding the home button. And it might be in DFU mode right now, I don't know. So I'm going to keep holding the home button and reopen SSH RAM disk tool. Hey, it did up a good thing. Now let's open up WinSEP. And let's see. All right, so this is more like it. Having it be like that, that's the way I remember it. All right, this computer is painfully slow. It doesn't even have an SSD installed. Mm. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the hard drive on the camera. But I sure can. And it's delicious. So.
so I'm thinking about selling this computer right here because I have a MacBook Pro uh, 20, uh, 2010, late 2010, I think. Yeah, late 2010. And it's a year newer than this one. And let's type in localhost. Localhost. Port number, that would be 2022. Root, that's not how you spell root. Root Alpine. Let's go. Also, the trackpad occasionally does this. Gets up on the thing, and you can't press it. Oh, authenticating. We've never gotten this far before. Yes. Hey, that's not half bad. I'm in. All right, let's minimize that. I almost X off, X'd off of that, but that would have been no good. All right, now I need to replace some files, these two, and delete the setup app. Whoa, did you see how laggy that was? I move that there and, oh, okay, trackpad did it bad. Let's move that there. All right. First, before we do anything, you need to click on this terminal button right here. Then click. All right, okay, I understand. Okay, I clicked okay, and it seems to not be doing anything good. Never ask me again, okay. Oh, hey, all right, searching for host, connecting to host, authenticating. All right, mou mount dot shh. Mount.sh. All right, and I think that's it. Then after that, let's try to get a better, uh, better view of the display. I'd say that's pretty great. All right, next up, we need to go to here. We need to do up a good thing with the network manifest. Let it load for a second. Let it load for another second. Drag these bad boys. Why the hell does it not let me uh, do anything with this sh Holy fucking shit. Stop. No, I hate this trackpad, all right? All right, all right, here's a mouse. Let's see if it works. No, <laughs> it doesn't. It works perfectly fine with every other computer and every mouse I've done it up a good thing. I think it's a driver issue. You're gonna have to use this shitty ass trackpad. All right, the control button is broken, so I can't just do control A, but I can do shift and hold that and move these. Not there. <laughs> Move these to there. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Overwrite. Never ask me. Yes. I think it successfully did up a good thing. Now I need to go into mount to uh, go to uh, where is it? Root library caches and just okay okay let's do this I hate this trackpad it won't let me touch two fingers at a time let's do that I got a notification it's the guy asking is the phone completed I'm not gonna respond just yet is it Okay, great. Now I need to delete the setup application. Now that is located in Mount 1 and Applications. Now, let me show you what I mean by this is a shitty-ass trackpad. So I'm going to take one finger, click, try and scroll. Doesn't work. Click, try and scroll. Doesn't work. 
click, try and scroll. Doesn't work. It's horrible. I hate every last thing about it. All right. Now, setup app. Get out of here. Yep. Now, I think I just restart the device, right? Now, to do that, if I can get a good angle here, to do that, you. Do I have it installed? Do I have a rec boot installed? Um. I can't. I have to use a fingernail and click. On, oh. Remove. Remove. All right. It appears that maybe I threw it away. And here. Rec boot. There you go. You know what? Screw this. Screw this computer. I'm using a real computer. So this computer right here has a GTX 1060 and i5-6500K and 16 gigabytes of RAM. All right, Rec Boot, where are you? Do I have it installed on this computer? Please tell me I have it installed. No. Mob farm, undo. I haven't seen that words, well, those words in a while. Anyway, let's see. I better have it installed. Let's just use a reboot. Same, same thing. Yes, my iOS device is indeed connected via USB cable. Yeah. Um. Well. See if doing this will resolve the... Oh, it's a shot of my face. I don't know if you can actually see that, but I can see the camera. I don't know. Let's close it. Hey! Hey, hey, exit recovery mode. Alright, let's see if it actually works. Yes, it should work. It should work perfectly fine. I'll get back to you if it does work perfectly fine or if it does not work perfectly fine. It vibrated. And the results are perfectly fine. All right, time to jailbreak it. How do I do that? Um, let's see. Let's see. If I can get a good angle. That's good enough. All right. Um, I'll get back to you on that. All right. I have a correct application. Pengu jailbreak. I remember this. Man, I loved this. Connection failed. You do not tap trust on your device. And man, these were the good days of jailbreaking. On my iPhone 5, man. Mmm. Mmm. Let's just hold the... Um, let's unplug it and plug it back in. Unplug it. Plug it back in. Nope. I dropped it. Trust. Alright, I did in fact click 
trust on the device. Maybe you need to like open and close iTunes and hope oh, there you go. Jailbreak. Injecting bundles. Please set the date to a date before this. So that would be in general then date and time. Alright. Let's go here. Is that going back? Yes. Just zoom zoom. Let's just keep doing this for a while. Even more. 2016. 2016 was a good year. I had fun. Alright. 2014. Oh, yeah. Injecting bumbles. Please wait. Do I even have... Huh. So earlier when uh, I was in this program searching for something and Mob Farm came up, that made me think, do I even have Minecraft installed on um, this computer? Let's open up that. Continue. All right. So let's see, I have MC Edit, I have Admist somewhere. Oh, I do. Huh, it's just not on the desktop. All right. Processing. Just wait a few minutes. So I was looking at my desktop icons Nice hash miner is not a thing. Uh, where is it? Windscribe is shit, in my experience. This is not the correct version of Crystal Disk Mark. This is probably expired, TI Smart View. Movie Maker is my man. Alright. Grammarly makes a desktop app. Electrum. Bitcoin wallet, or miner, probably wallet. Nexus mod manager, all your Fallout New Vegas needs are right there. OBS Studios. A lot of these I haven't used in pretty much ever since I installed them, which would probably be years ago. I built this computer in 2016. That's before RAM prices and graphics card prices were completely through the roof. Now they actually um, went down a bit because Bitcoin, it's not really profitable. It, hold on, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna stop talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. I retract my statement where I said it's not profitable because I don't actually know if it's profitable or not. Yeah. All right. Prepare the file system. Prepare the file system. Preparing file. He also said his SIM card was in here, which I don't know what he expected from that. Um Let's get a sim eject tool. Sim eject tool. Huh. All right. Prepare the file system. Well, today's video is pretty much done. Alright, so that's just great.